that's all hi everyone welcome back to another video so in this video we have brought you a new project which is based on java okay so here in this particular project we have used for front end we have used jsp which is server pages of java and back end we have used java all right and for database we have used mysql specifically the software is mysql workbench all right so what this project is going to do and what is this project all about all about as you can see you can see in our screen this project the name called virtual bank okay so just like an uh, actual bank same whatever like suppose creating the amount transferring the amount whatever whatever you can do offline in a bank that everything you can do online so just like your how we have your paytm bank so same thing these are virtual bank which we have created based on java all right so now let's see how let's see how this project is going to work and how we need to start this project and what are the different features are available in this particular project we'll see one by one okay so as of now i have already started this project so first let me stop that project and let me start that again okay and here for server we have we are using a server name called tomcat specifically version is tomcat 8.5 version all right so let me start my project so i'll just select this one and run as run on server so here i need to select my server so my server is tomcat 8.5 server so let's click on finish all right so here my application is going to start it will take some time to get started so as you can see it is showing as starting so we need to wait until this get shows as started okay so yeah as you can see my application is getting started so let's wait for few couple of seconds and uh, this is not going to take much time okay okay yes our application has been started perfectly as you can see started all right so now i'll go to my uh, browser over here let me refresh this okay because i st uh, stopped and started the server over here so i have refreshed like this okay so this is our application all right so now what we can do means since assume that you have not created an any account and you was the user for the first time you're using this all right so now what i'm going to do is i'll create an account over here for the first time okay so let's create an account over here all right so let's say let's uh, i'm going to create two accounts now okay so let's click on i have clicked on create account okay so here check apply successfully all right so let's fill the details okay so let's say iron uh first name is iron and second name is the man iron man all right so email let's say and man at uh, mail.com all right so let's say a random phone number i'll just mention a random phone number and as a date of birth over here okay so like 1995 whatever it is all right other number i'll just mention some other number over here so these are some personal credentials which you need to give all right so let's say bengaluru state karnataka and some zip code okay all right so let me click on sign in okay so sign in all right so no thanks all right so now as you can see we have got on message over here as please wait get account creation confirmation within 30 minutes so what does this mean means so actually you are creating an account so a bank a bank person or an admin we can tell, uh, tell as admin as well so that person or the admin is going to check like the name and the other number uh, everything the details are perfect or not then he is going to create your account means he'll give a confirmation for your account okay so like how so now what i'm going to do i'll just log in as an admin over here in the new tab okay so let's this tab it's loaded quickly okay so i'll just log in as an admin quickly and the password for uh, uh, admin is I have mentioned as admin and the username is admin at gmail.com so i'll just click on submit so this is the admin dashboard all right so now what i'm going to do means this is the home page i mean dashboard i'll go for account status okay I'll account status all right so as you can see so who, who are the account which has been created that you can see over here so uh, when when the admin click on view so admin is going to view all the user information details and this is the account number which has been generated for the user iron man all right so as of now i'll just keep this for my future reference i'll just keep it in a notepad over here i'll just tell you why okay so i'll just uh, have kept this 
in a notepad over here like this for my future reference so because we are not going to remember the account number right to transfer the money so that's why i'll just keep it in as a backup okay yes so now as you can see the account status is inactive correct so now i'll go back i'll change this account suppose assume that all information is perfect so if it is perfect click on approve or it is it's not perfect means just click on reject so as of now as an admin i'll just click on approve okay so that account opening is successful if admin goes to account section over here and view all accounts means so who all the accounts are there in their particular bank they can be able to view over here like as you can see like vasu krishna shweta test iron man so this is the account which has been created just now all right so now i'll go back to the previous account over here means the previous tab so now since the user okay let me create oh wait let's uh, create an another account okay let's create an another account called capital capital america captain america all right so i use a name so let's say caps at gmail.com and i'll just uh, enter a random phone number over here okay so 5 uh, 8 1991 okay other number all right so address india uh, okay just uh, i'm just giving uh, some random information over here all right so like this so agree and sign it okay so now same thing same thing admin has to verify so i'll just go for this admin account status since admin has been already logged in as you can see we have got captain america information so directly i'll uh, uh, first i'll keep the account number for my reference okay so first one for iraman 1990 second one for captain america so i'll click on approve all right so account opening is successful for two users who are those user iron man and a captain america all right so now between these two account we'll try to transfer the account uh, means transfer the amount everything will do that all right so i'll come over here so let's log in since the uh, since the account has been created for the first time okay so they need to create their net backing using their account number all right so let's say i'll create a net banking for iron man first so i'll just this is the account number of iron man just assume that account number will come uh, through a mobile as an sms from bank so we'll assume like that so this that is how you got the user will get their account number okay but in our project we didn't added any sms kind of uh, uh, option okay yes so let's say iron man is an username okay iron man is an username all right so password also i'll keep it a small password over here and the confirm password all right so submit so now we have log uh, we have successfully registered for a net banking i'll just log in as an iron man okay i'll do the, do one thing i'll create for uh, captain america as well okay so this is the account number for captain america so like here so i'll give a username as caps okay caps username for captain america and the password over here and i click on submit so net banking for captain america and admin means two users has been created successfully all right so we we'll log in as an iron man now okay iron man and the password which i have uh, entered so submit so now this is the dashboard for users as you can see so we have logged in as an iron man as you can see you can see iron man name over here means the full name of iron man all right okay so let's say so here you can see check uh, balance you can able to check your balance so i'll just click on balance over here as you can see your balance is zero correct so you didn't add it any of the amount for your account and you can able to see your profile as well see you can able to see your profile and if you want to change the password you can change the password as well and also uh, this is a transaction if you need to send the money you can send the money as well so this is the reports means Uh, how many debit has been done how many credit has been done what are the total uh, transaction everything so now assume that okay assume that user go to bank directly to deposit some money okay so whoever the admin is go is there or the cashier is going to collect the money from the user and they're going to deposit their money into their account okay so now what i'm going to i'll just go for a new transaction work here new transaction so here first we need to take the amount means uh, assume that iron man been to that bank to deposit some amount all right so search so i have searched iron man account with the account number over here 
So transaction type means he is adding means Iron Man is going to, means the user is going to add a means depositing money to their account means credit obviously. So credit amount. So amount uh, let's say twenty thousand. Okay, twenty thousand. So submit. Okay, so let me uh, search the account number as well. Now, as you can see, the total amount is twenty thousand in Iron Man account. Got it? So same way, since we are already here, uh, we'll add amount for Captain America as well. So Captain America as well. So as you can see, now I got Captain America information over here. So let's say uh, transaction type is credit. Okay, amount will be like uh, let's say fifty thousand. All right. So submit. So let's check whether that amount is there in uh, Captain America account. Yes, obviously it's there. Fifty thousand. All right. So suppose if Captain America wants to transfer money from Captain America amount to Iron Man account, means that it's very easy. So just instead of credit, debit it. How much amount? Let's say hundred. Captain America wants to give hundred rupees for the Iron Man user. So hundred. So submit. Okay. So if you check the account of Captain America now, it has been. Hundred rupees hundred has been debited from the account, and the total amount is forty nine thousand nine hundred. Got it? All right. So now this is what, and here you can see in admin you can view all the transaction of based on the account number. Okay, based on the account number you can see the all the transaction. So twenty thousand which has been add, uh, added for credit for cash deposit for Iron Man account, fifty thousand for Captain America account, and hundred rupees for whom? to transfer from captain america account to iron man account right correct so now i'll go to this profile now i'll just now since it is iron man cash has been deposited which is 20000 okay it is showing 20000 got it so 20000 cash has been deposited all right so let me refresh this once okay all right so now i'll go for uh, transaction work here Okay, I'll just log in as a Captain America first. Okay, log in as a Captain America first. So, uh, yes, caps. Okay, one, two, three, four, and submit. All right. So, first, let's check a balance. All right. So, the balance of Captain America is twenty nine thousand hundred and hundred be sent to whom? Iron Man. Correct. So, if you see the transaction, send money. So, send money means you can send from here as well. I'll just show you how to send. Okay, send money. So let's say now Captain America wants to send about three hundred rupees for Iron Man. So first, Captain America needs to enter the account number. Obviously, account number is necessary. And uh, who is the person? Iron Man, right? And amount is three hundred. So submit. Okay, submitted. So now, if you check your balance, your balance will be means three hundred has been debited from your account. So go for your uh, transaction means go for account in oh, wait wait reports yeah go for how much amount has been debited so you can able to see all your transaction so first was hundred second was three hundred for this particular account means Iron Man account cash withdraw from bank got it yes so next thing um, okay so uh, and previously there was a confusion there in the admin section. We have debited the amount, but we didn't transfer for Iron Man. So that's why means uh, we have debited amount in the bank itself. We didn't transfer for Iron Man. Okay, so probably I just made a small confusion over there. Okay, so cash withdrawal from bank. Okay, so here we have done a transfer for Iron Man. Got it? All right. So here you can see all your transaction. Okay, so debit, debit, credit, credit, every transaction. Got it? So now we we'll log in with an. Iron Man, and since this three hundred has to be credited for Iron Man, correct? So log out. Let's log in as an Iron Man quickly. Iron Man, and let's enter the password over here. Submit, and let's check the transaction for. Let's go for transaction. Oh uh, yeah, uh, reports. How much has been credited? Okay, debited. As you can see, Iron Man has not debited anything. So credited amount is this much. See twenty thousand, which has been deposited in bank, and three hundred money received from Captain America account number is this one. Got it? You got all the information. Yes, yes. So let's check the balance. Before it was twenty thousand. Now it has to be twenty thousand three hundred. All right. So now assume that Iron Man wants to transfer an amount for Captain America. All right. So go for transaction. Send money. 
you need to mention the account number okay so account number name caps or capt america amount like i want to send uh, 10000 okay 10000 so submit got it M money transfer successfully so just check your balance first see the bank 10000 has, has been debited from the account and if you see the reports or the credited means debited debited means it has to be 10000 work here so money transferred to caps account number is this one got it so this is how our project actually works so let's click on log out all right log out that's all all right so i hope you guys understood how this project is going to work and the working of project is perfect for you i think i hope you guys understood so if you like this project you can take this project so you get all the information related to how, how you can get this project in the description all right so yes if you need any other project means you can uh, give information of your project or you can send an abstract you can send a mail as you are abstract so we'll make a project for you so we'll do a project for we'll do many projects college major projects mobile application blockchain ml java full stack spring Boot projects websites dynamic websites we do all kind of projects iot as well so if you need or any other project you can just contact us all right so that's all about in this video so we'll meet in our next video until then take care goodbye bye bye